Uh, you mentioned CPU. Uh, that's always a question. Just It's just very standard <laughs> to, to wonder we about know. the CPU. And we have, uh, I think, Nick D is wondering how CPU intensive is Smart EQ and indeed all of the smart plugins. And it, maybe if you want to elaborate on how you mitigate CPU's drain, because obviously mm -hmm. it's doing a lot of processing. It's, it's literally listening and thinking and doing this. Like altogether, the, we try to keep the CPU load as low as possible, obviously, so to make sure that you can use multiple instances without a problem. Smart EQ in dynamic mode is, is indeed the most CPU hungry of the plugins that we have. Um, but there is actually a plugin, uh, a plugin, an update coming up next week, I think, where we'll significantly reduce CPU load, which will be good for people uh, with M1s, maybe because there was some strange issue with the new M1 processor and the dynamic mode, and we, we fixed that by now. But altogether, th the good thing is that uh, most of the heavy lifting, which is the computation, for example, of the filter curve, is done while listening to the signal. And this is more or less an offline process. So we collect data, and then we analyze the data, and this doesn't have to be fully real-time because there is no audio running through um, while processing. There are spikes in processing, but we can stretch them over time so that they don't become too heavy. And one reason why the dynamic mode is more CPU-hungry than the normal mode is that there is constantly some learning going on in the background to be able to adapt to the signal. For other plugins, for example, um, the, the compressor and the limiter are relatively easy on the CPU. Um, one thing that can be heavy on the CPU is you have the, or not, not really heavy, but if you have a plugin, like multiple plugin windows open, since we have a lot of visualizations and most of the time interact interactive ones, um, the GUI will also eat some CPU. Yeah. I mean, we, we are painting everything which is complex using um, OpenGL, so we, we do it on the graphics card. So we, right. that's the, so, we, so we upload it from the CPU to the GPU, but some parts are still done on the CPU. So if you, have, if you ever have CPU problems, it's always good to think about closing windows you don't need because in the background they are always rendered and yeah, that will probably eat out eat, eat up some CPU power that you can use for audio processing otherwise.